You guys have to become fast friends when you're on an indie adventure together, right? So you're parachuting together, you're sliding down a water slide. Was there a chemistry test? How did you get to know each other? <laughs> oh, I met her in the street. She was mine for the price of a drink. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm retiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. No, no, uh, yeah, we met in Jim Mangold's office. We had spoken on the telephone. Mm -hmm. I was excited to meet her, and uh, it, was a, it was really a good meet. A good meet? It was easy. Helena! Sorry. Helena Shaw! I mean, we... We clicked, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Dad told me you found something on a train during the war. A dial that could change the course of history. Rewind your mind, though, back to yeah. when you get told you got a part in the next Indiana Jones movie. Dr. Jones, get him. What was your reaction? And follow-up question, what was your family and friends' reaction? Because I would love to call up a friend and say, yeah, you know Indiana Jones? Yeah, I'm in it. But that was, that was my reaction, in the sense that I would, a week before, I was sitting with a friend of mine who was, you know, counting out loud the franchises I've been in, which is a kind of a big deal for a Danish guy. Yeah, we could say Star Wars. We won't do it, Krennic. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. We could say uh, Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts. Nah. Better. James Bond. Oh, yeah. James Bond. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Clang. <laughs> That's it? Hmm? Anyone want to play poker now? There you go. Anyways, oh, and uh, Marvel. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know how to use that, do you? Uh, anyway, so we were laughing, it, we were laughing, and then he said, then he said, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so all you have to do now is an Indiana Jones film. And we laughed. Then I got the call a week later. Wow. The only thing I could think about was like, I want to text him now. Yeah, yeah. Whilst yeah. you're on the phone, one hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, have we met? My memory's a little fuzzy. Are you still a Nazi? Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. Um, didn't really have to read the script, but I did though, and I really loved it. I mean, you don't say no to when Indiana Jones knocks at your door. No, you don't. The man in the hat is back, and you're back. Yeah. How about you? Did you have a family or friend that went, I can't get over this? Yeah, yeah. My, my wife, because I was, Jim called me and says, I have a, you know, a small part for you. I don't want to offend you. Have a look at it. You know, it's maybe, and I was like, man, it's a pretty damn good script, babe. Why don't you read it and tell okay. me your thoughts? And then she's like, page five. She's like, yeah, you're doing this. I'm like, no, no, I can't. I come in on page 25. Yeah, you're doing it. I'm not even in it yet. She's like, no, no, shut up. You're in it. Tr you're trust in me. It. Also, small part, I don't know. You get a lot of time, man. He's sticky. He's, he's sticky. He's, he's glowing to me. He's, <laughs> he's always in the back of the shot going, <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. Oh, he's like, a, like the early version of a Nazi photo bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't move. We need to get out of here. Stop! When do you think Phoebe has made you laugh the most on set? <sighs> Oh, I don't know. I think it was there. I think <laughs> constant, <laughs> constantly. Yes. There it is. Yes, it was. It was pretty constant. Who is this man? I'm her godfather. Related. <laughs> anyway. I did something I thought was going to make him laugh. Uh huh. That didn't really make you laugh. What was that? That was when Charlie, my makeup artist, Charlie and I found the um, prosthetic masks oh, of yeah. Harrison that the stunt men wear when they're doing his stunts, and there's the younger version of. Uh, indie, and then there's the current version of Indie, and I wore the current version head, and Charlie wore the uh, younger version. No, I was younger, Charlie was playing the current one, and then we snuck up on you in your trailer, as you, like yeah. Ghost of Christmas Past and Present, yeah. and we uh, jumped in, and you had like <laughs> absolutely no reaction. Hysterical. <laughs> but then later... But I covered. <laughs> covered it, yeah. You were quite frightened, actually, I think which was the goal. But then later he found my mask and put it on <sighs> and then uh, tied your little shirt up, to, just like Helena. And then, uh, and then I, I did find that very funny. So I feel like I laid a joke mm -hmm. early to make me laugh <laughs> later. Because <laughs> you were just a poor victim of all that, weren't you? I, I'm, a, I'm always a, just a poor victim. <laughs> you stole it. And then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. Phoebe, are you willing to admit that Harrison is funnier than you? Um, I'm not. Well... Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. 
I don't You're know. You're saying that to me as if it's a fact that I have to. I mean, it is. <laughs> it's kind of. Have you seen Shrinking? Is that what I have. You're just gonna burn down your career and take me with you. Coin flip. Get out of here. Wait, this is my office. It took you longer than it should have. Taken. Well, you yeah. know, there would be no shrinking if it weren't for Phoebe introducing me to Brett Goldstein. Wow. So there you are. I'm gonna, you... Go, I'm gonna go with that story. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. And now we have the word woof. 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 Whole new meaning. It's fantastic. I yes, I admit it. Yes, you do. Of course you do. Of course we all do. We've got to get there first. I can't do that. You want to stop for a little lie down? And what was it like seeing Harrison Ford in the jacket with the hat on, mm. holding the whip? Because Phoebe was telling me, and this was ages ago, that you can't help but be giggly and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you just feel a bit stupid and childish mm. because you can't pretend that's normal. Mm. What was it like seeing it for the first time? Well, I, had a, I had a reading with Harrison. We were supposed to go, and go through the script. And he was wearing the gear? No, no, that's the thing. Before we had the reading, uh, I had a little costume fitting thing and apparently he did, he did as well. So he came out of his trailer with the hat, the whip, the jacket. So I didn't get to meet Harrison, I met Indy first. Whoa. And that was a little weird. So you've not met him before? I liked Indy, he looked good. <laughs> but Harrison, not such a fan. But that Indy guy, yeah, yeah, I like him a exactly. lot. Exactly. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt, there might be some tablets. Do you notice people freaking out seeing you wearing it? I'm delighted that they were happy to see you. me all dressed up in a hot jacket in the middle of <laughs> Sicily in the summer. <laughs> Just dying in the heat. Are you guys never getting in a tuk tuk again? <laughs> Surely. Surely not. I'm up for it. <laughs> I love the tuk tuk. I actually crashed one of the tuk tuks. Yeah. Tuk tuks. Yes, it was. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. Tick tock. Did you say tuk tuk? Are we on tick tock? I'm sure I said it wrong. Tuk tuk. Cut. <laughs> Edit that. <in. laughs> Yes, I crashed one, yeah. And not on purpose. The back of the Nazis, not on not No, on it was ridiculous. Purpose. Drove right into the back of it. <laughs> of a Mercedes. Yeah. yeah. Not, not good. I just mixed yeah. up the accelerator and the brake, didn't I? <laughs> that old chestnut. Yep. Yeah. I'm that actually one. a very safe driver. I just got very overexcited. Yeah, I believe you. Yep. I just remember Ethan in the back afterwards going, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> No change here. Part of the reason why the indie movies are so beloved is because they mix action, heart, and humor. What would you say, Phoebe, are the funniest moments in the original films? Like, are there particular standout moments that you go, oh, that always makes me laugh? Does any, any snake situation, <laughs> uh, any snake situation made me laugh? There's a big snake in the plane, Jacques! Oh, that's just my pet snake, Reggie! I hate snakes, Jacques! I hate them! And I remember thinking that was, I, I remember being really young and thinking that was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen, that, that a hero was frightened of snakes. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? And the delivery, I mean, yeah. let me be the millionth person to say it, but yeah. snakes, Jesus. I'm saying bravo, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Jones, I'd be safe sleeping with a snake. I said, cut it out! To me, it's anything between you and the late great Sir Sean Connery. You didn't, did you? You didn't bring it, did you? Well, uh, you did. I find all of that stuff way too much. Yeah, it, it was a lovely experience with working with Sean. He's a remarkable guy. Look. Can we discuss this later? I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. Well, you take it easy. The Marx Brothers line, everything, it's just chef's kiss. And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Don't call me Junior. I love it as well. But Charlemagne. I mean, yeah, Charlemagne. I suddenly remembered my Charlemagne. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. <laughs> the eating of the brains. Good stuff. Um, that was pretty amazing. Chilled a monkey brain.
But it is funny with the guy with the big sword. Yeah. Uh, Every time. Him. <laughs> Every time. And then you play with that in this movie where mm -hmm. he does the whip showing yeah, off yeah. and it's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> reverse, table reverse. Shut up. Get back. This is a really big question for you, Harrison, but I've got mm -hmm. to ask it. Why do you think the indie movies have been so successful, so beloved, and, and mean so much to so many people? Because of the talents of uh, the screenwriters and directors and actors that have poured their hearts and souls into it. Mm -hmm. And the experience that I had making these five films, we, you mentioned Sean, mm -hmm. I mean, but the, the films are peopled with some of the most amazing actors and and characters and the and the stories are so compelling and they mix adventure and humor and heart. I thought you were dead. I must have switched baskets. <sighs> but I think the thing that that I most admire about them is the depth of uh, and the subtlety of the emotion in it. <laughs> and the importance of emotion in the in these films. <laughs> I thought I'd lost you, boy. I thought you had to, sir. As this last one concerns age and frailty and, and changing nature of life, it was uh, especially compelling to me because I am of that age and I wanted it to feel real for the audience. I wanted them to see the complexity of that experience on a, with uh, someone they spent 40 years with. Can I just say, on behalf of all the fans, thank you. It's been such an adventure. We love you so much. I don't want to make you blush or anything, but you mean the world to us. And um, thank you. That's all I have to say. And, and, and I must say to you, thank you sincerely. It means the world to me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum. <laughs>